we've been talking about our efficiency chain and have discussed timetable efficiency and utilization of PVR. Our next link is the rotor, and this is a particular bugbear of mine. Because efficient duties do not equal efficient rotors. In fact, the 95% efficient duties that we discussed previously could cost a lot more once rotor rules are applied. Let me explain. If you have a five day week rotor with a guaranteed 40 hour paid week, you need an average duty payment of eight hours per day. But if your super efficient duties only give you an average seven hours 48 pay per day, you'll only reach a 39 hour week. Therefore, you'll end up paying drivers an hour per week for nothing. What you're saying is that a less efficient set of duties could actually cost you less than the one that is very efficient once they are applied to the rotor? Yes, absolutely. Which once again reiterates the point that duty efficiency does not equal schedules efficiency and schedules efficiency is made up of multiple links in a chain. Most operations have duties known as spares or standbys. These are duties where drivers have no allocated work for the day, but come into work and cover any issues on the day, such as sickness and breakdowns. That's right. And, and this is useful to ensure that service levels are met and for retaining customer confidence. But, you know, it is inherently inefficient. Yeah, it, it is. The number of spare duties as a proportion of total duties would be another measure of how efficient your operation is then. Yes, and you could then measure the utilisation of your spare drivers to find out how much time they've worked compared to what they get paid. Now, this could help identify where potential efficiencies could be made. So this could be a reduction in the number of spare hours or spare drivers actually required, but could also be changes to the underlying schedule that would reduce the need for spare driver coverage in the first place.